Baby Ben. When I was little, a baby came to stay for the day. I was very excited. So was Wooly. And I made my little house ready to play. Look who it is. It's Baby Ben. I like Baby Ben. Can you have a little look for me underneath Baby Ben's buggy and see if you can find a toy for him to play with? Baby Ben came with lots and lots of things. Nappy. Nappies. Nappies. Wipes. Wipes. Ooh. Clothes. Baby Ben didn't have many toys. Yeah, found it. Just a squeaky thing. <gasps> look. I wanted to show Baby Ben my toys. Mummy said no. Yeah, he's only a baby. No, he isn't. Can he come to tea in my little house? I said. Mummy, can Baby Ben have tea in my face? <laughs> well, no, because Baby Ben's just very little. No, said Mummy. I think it's time for Baby Ben's nap. Time for a nap, Baby Ben, said Mummy. Baby Ben isn't much fun. I waited for Baby Ben to go to sleep. When Baby Ben was asleep, I asked Mummy if she would like to come for tea. Mummy, would you like to come and have tea? No, sorry, Tig. I've just got a few things to catch up on before Baby Ben wakes up. Mummy said no. Oh, I said, and played with my car. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> said Mummy. You wake Baby Ben. Mummy likes the baby more than me, I said to Wooly. I could be a baby too, just like Baby Ben. Tig, shh, he's sleeping. I wish Baby Ben would go away. Suddenly, Baby Ben woke up again. Oh, dear. come on. Tig, Tig, could you please move your toys? Mummy's grumpy, I said to Willy. Hey, Tig, Mummy's not grumpy. Mummy's just busy with Baby Ben. Come on, we'll give her a hand. Clean nappies. We'll need one of those. Baby wipes. We need them to make Baby Ben nice and clean all over. Clean clothes for Ben. <laughs> hey Tig, and there's Ben's drinking bottle. Mummy will miss that. Off you go Tig. Helping Mum's fun. Here, look what I found. Oh, thank you, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Mummy, here, Mummy. Here's a nappy for Baby oh, Ben. Oh, clever girl. And because you've been so good, you can help me change Baby Ben's nappy. Uh, yeah. Because guess what? Can I help Mummy change Baby Ben? <laughs> Mummy, here, Mummy. Put the baby right Oh, here. thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mummy, here's, here's Baby Ben. Trousers. Oh, that is so helpful, thank you. We made him all nice and clean again. It's only my toys by her to be there. <laughs> I like helping Mummy. I like Baby Ben too. I love Willy. Going to school. When I was little, I went to school. Not my nursery school. But a big school. Wooly came too. Before I went to school, me and my mummy went to see it. Nice a nice lady showed us the big school. Who's this? Wooly. Would you like to come and show Wooly something in the school? There were lots of rooms. There were lots of stairs. There were pegs to hang up our coats. Down here. 
They were toilets. I like the toilets. They have lots of basins. Then the nice lady showed us into a room with lots of pictures and chairs. And this is Miss Sanderson. She's going to be your teacher. This will be your classroom, Teg. Miss Sanderson will be your teacher. I liked Miss Sanderson. She smiled at me. Miss Sanderson showed me my classroom. That's right. There were tables for writing, play areas just like nursery. I had my very own draw. Then I met a girl called Julia. Julia, she's going to be your buddy when you come to school. Julia was my buddy. Julia gave me a book all about her. I liked my new big school. Mummy bought me new clothes for school. They were clothes just like Julia's. OK, Teg, do you want to go and try on your uniform? Yes. When Daddy came home, he didn't know who I was. Who's this? Teg. No, you can't be Teg. Oh, it is Teg. <laughs> yeah. Funny, Daddy. And here's your bag, Teg. Thank you, Mummy. You're all set for school. Yeah. On my first day at my new big school, I was very excited. We hung up our coats. In my classroom, Miss Sanson let us choose what to do. I played just like at nursery. I knew some of the children. They were at my nursery. Yippee! Later, Miss Sanson said to sit down. Now, boys and girls, we are going to do some letter work. We did sounds. We did shapes. And swap. We learnt letters. Miss Sanson showed us how to write letters. Down with a T. Do you think you could have a go? I wrote my letters with a pencil. Those are wonderful. Well done. Just keep going. I want to make all the letters just right for Miss Sanson. Ping! My pencil broke! I couldn't write anymore. I didn't know what to do. Oh dear, Tig, you broke your pencil. I know how you feel. You don't want Miss Sanderson to know, do you? No, but Miss Sanderson is here to help, Tig. If you don't tell her your worries, she can't help sort them. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy, all your bits and bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy worry-free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy worry-free days. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy. All your bits of bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy boy free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy boy free days. Go for it, Tig! <laughs> yes, I thought. My pencil's broken. I must tell Miss Sanson. My pencil. Oh, that's no worries. I'll give you a new one. There you go. No worries. 
said Miss Samson, and gave me another pencil. I loved my first day at school. When I got my shoes the wrong way round, I told Miss Samson. When I wanted to go to the toilet, Excuse me, where's the toilet? A teacher reminded me where to go. In the playground, I had no worries. My buddy Julia showed me everything. We played and had fun. After break, we had numbers and counting. Going to school was so much fun. Me and Julia had lunch together. I had lunch on a tray. After lunch, Miss Sanson read us a story. I wanted Willie to cuddle, but I couldn't find him. Said, yes, Tick. I've lost Willie. Okay. I told Miss Sanson. I was so worried. Miss Sanson couldn't find Willie. Poor Willie was lost. Miss Sanson told the nice lady. The nice lady told the head teacher. The head teacher told Julia, my buddy. Do you know where he is? I know where Willie is. Excellent. On you go. Julia knew where Willie was. Willie was where I had left him when I went out to play. Middle-aged lady. I was so happy to have Willie to hug again. After school, when I got home, I was very tired. How's your first day at school? I was grumpy. I didn't want to talk. I wanted to hold poor Willie. Hey, Tig! You've had your first day at school. You're very tired. But what has made you even more tired is losing me. Maybe tomorrow you should leave me here at home. No, Willie, I'll never I'll never leave you. But you left me today and I got lost. School is a busy place. You don't want me to get lost again. I love you, Willie. And I love you too, Tig. I'll be here waiting for you every day, like Mummy and Daddy. Yippee! Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I love Willie. I love Mummy and Daddy. I like them safe at home. Going to school the next day was exciting. We did gym. We did counting. We played. Miss Sanson read us a story. I hugged a frog and thought of Willie. When I came home, Willie was waiting for me. I'm only a toy spider. Then I told Willie and Mummy and Daddy all about my day at school. And then after break, I like going to school. I like coming home. I love Willie. Sharing. When I was little, my friend Angel came to play. I like playing with Angel. She's fun. See you later. We played people, we played sliding, we played jumping on the cushions. Whee! I liked playing with Angel. She makes me laugh. Why don't you go and show Angel your room? Mummy said, Tig, why don't you show Angel your toys? I showed Angel all my toys. The orange came on fire. <laughs> I'm making soup. That's um, that's in the soup for baby's bowl. I didn't like Angel holding my doll. It wasn't Angel's doll. It was my doll. I didn't want Angel to play with my toys 
any more. I put Willy to bed. I put all my toys in my little house. Shouted, shouted, shouted! Shush! What's going on? I want to go home. Oh, of course you can, Angel. Let's go and ring your mum. Oh dear, said Mummy. That's sad you're going home so soon, Angel. Did Tig not want to share her toys? No. No, oh dear. And they went to ring Angel's Mummy. Oh dear. Hey, Tig. It can be a bit funny seeing someone play with your toys. But Angel's your friend. Now she's gone. Whee! Hey, Tig. That's a big jumble of toys in there. That'll take some sorting. Shame there's no one to help. The good thing about sharing your toys is that your toys can suddenly become new and fun again. Maybe if you say a big, big sorry to Angel, she'll come back and play and you can have fun with your toys again. I didn't want Angel to go. She was my friend. I said sorry to Angel. Angel, I'm sorry. In a big, big way. I gave Angel Wooly to play with. <laughs> Angel said she would stay. Angel had Wooly under Mummy's work. Here's a candy. Only my toy spider, I said. I like playing with Angel. We played and I shared my toys. <laughs> They're like new toys again. I love Willy. The party. When I was little, I went to a party with my mummy and daddy. Happy birthday, Timmy. <gasps> Don't forget Willy. Willy came too. The party was for Timmy's birthday. Angel! My friend Angel was there too. And there were lots of children. The party was in a big room. <laughs> there was a funny man called Josh. Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name's Josh, and I... Josh had a flower that squirted water. We're going to do the hokey cokey. Josh showed us how to do the hokey cokey. We all joined in. All about. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Pin the tail on the donkey. Pin the tail on the donkey. And Mummy tied the scarf so we couldn't see. I pinned the tail on the donkey's nose. Everybody laughed. It was funny. A big boy was clever. He pinned the tail just where it should be. Well done! Josh had a hooty horn. OK, musical chairs. Let's go. Go! We played musical chairs. On you go! Oh, oh my goodness! There you go! Oh, 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 hard luck! Touchy, touchy! Hey! We've got a winner! Well, a big boy won! Time for juggling! Josh juggled. Sweetie Packets! Oh. I like Josh. When he draw one, he gave the packet to me. <laughs> Daddy made a big parcel for pass the parcel. When the music stops, you open the parcel up. 
When the music stopped, the parcel stopped and was unwrapped. The parcel never stopped at me. I never won any presents. Oh, Sophie! I didn't like the party. I didn't like never winning. Right, everybody, time for birthday cake. Come on. I didn't go for tea. Come on, Teg. You're going to miss the birthday tea. Come on. Hey, Tig, look at this. Where will the button go? Where's the button gone? There! Yeah! Well done, Tig. Winning feels good. That's why it's fun to win. But, Tig, in party games there's often only one winner. So that means you lose more times than you win. Not everyone can win all the time. It's fun that others win too, and fun just playing the game. Angel hasn't won, but she's having fun. Josh hasn't won, but he's having fun. You haven't won, but you had fun pinning the towel on the donkey's nose. Hey, Tig, parties are full of surprises. Join in and find the next fun surprise. I wanted more surprises. And ran for tea. <laughs> I helped Timmy blow out his candles. I saw Josh Willie. <laughs> it's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like parties. I love Willie. Really.